Today on The Topping Show, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate officially charged, Bud Light begs customers to come back, YouTube censoring Robert F. Kennedy, DNC sponsorships open up, Rivian chooses Tesla superchargers to use, Hyundai to bus bolster their EV investment, Hunter Boot goes bankrupt, Alibaba has a new CEO, and FedEx sales are down 10% last quarter. All that and much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of the Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, see their final release twice a day. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, that's the joke. If you're a IT leader or business owner, need a little assistance with your IT, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Now, other interesting business news, you have Hunter Boots going bankrupt. I know this is a this is a no way relationship to the crack addict Hunter Biden, although that might be a startup, maybe shoes filled with drugs and then you sell them. He might have that on Etsy already. I don't know. I usually don't go on Etsy too much, but this is actually a legacy boot company. This manufacturer started in about a hundred, not about precisely 176 years ago. Or although it was established, being called the North British Rubber Company in Edinburgh, Scotland. And they've been around for quite some time now. It is a little unfortunate they went into administration, which is the British. British. So everything already sounds fancier if you do that, or arrogant if you're if it's July and we're celebrating our independence, which I would say every day should be Independence Day. But that's just me. Now, administration is a British term for bankruptcy. And a couple of weeks ago, the company's intellectual property was actually acquired by the United States-based Authentic Brands Group. So it is a little disappointing to see a manufacturer with such a long legacy basically just vanish from the face of the planet. And some blame the fact that their shoes or their rain boots were like $176 when, geez Louise, it's rubber. And yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, unless they're getting commercial contracts or those boots last 20 years or something like that. Many were, some were saying that it was kind of the demise or a little bit of the downfall of the company. But at the end of the day, hopefully the employees get a new job somewhere else and maybe they'll even have a startup with a new boot company. Time shall tell. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Can't thank you enough. I really appreciate you taking the time to like, subscribe, and comment. Each one of those things greatly help out the channel. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your coworkers, tell your friends, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone to stay safe and fight the good fight.